is the border wars continuing. Uh, this is a long tradition. These, get, these two teams have played 253 games since 1907. Um, Kansas has dominated that series, 169 wins to 94. Uh, but anything can happen when you, when you put two rivals uh, together. The good news for Kansas is they're playing in Allen Fieldhouse. Next, impossible to beat Kansas at Allen Fieldhouse, and I don't think Missouri can do it. You know, the Morris Twins are an incredible force to be reckoned with. I think they're probably the most powerful one-two punch in college basketball. Uh, you know, the good thing about a team like Missouri and Kansas is they really don't have that one single superstar that they rely on. Uh, anybody can be the superstar on any night. You know, if someone's having a bad night, someone else is going to stand up and be the be the outstanding player that week. And uh, you know, a balanced attack and a balanced capability in college basketball is the only way you're ever going to win a national championship. And I think Kansas has that balance. And, I, uh, you know, I just don't think Missouri has a chance of, of beating Kansas uh, in Allen Fieldhouse. Well, I, I was reading earlier that Missouri has only won once over Kansas in the last, what was it, three or four years? Um, and although they are, you know, they're not the team that Kansas is this year. They're having a good year, but I don't know. I think that I think Missouri is tired of getting manhandled by Kansas. And another stat I saw was Kansas is, uh, in the last ten years they are 24 and six over Missouri. And I think I think Missouri's tired of that. I think they want to restore this rivalry. I mean, it is a rivalry, but it just hadn't been much of one the last several years. And I don't know. I think um, I'm looking for the upset in this one. I think Missouri's going to come out and they're going to show Kansas that they're they're ready to play and they're going to win this game, 72 to 65. Well, you know, I don't know how many of those drinks that you've been sipping on this morning that you're holding there. I, I'm, I'm sure quite a few knowing you on a Saturday morning. But, uh, but you know, there's no way Missouri's going to win this game. I think Kansas is going to win it by at least 10, uh, maybe as many as 15. Uh, there's going to be some tight stretches. There always is in these rivalry games. But at the end, as it comes down the stretch, Kansas is going to going to control the game. Uh, and. and I'll stick with that same score range you're in, but I'm thinking more like 75-63 Kansas. Um, I just think they're going to be too much for Missouri. I mean, you know, I even got my Kansas Jayhawk shirt on today. You know, I wouldn't have wore this if I didn't think they were going to be they were going to be the uh, team to come out on top. You know, bottom line is Kansas has got one loss this year. They lost to Texas, who was a great team, uh, but you almost need to put an asterisk beside that loss. Uh, Robinson's mother had just passed away the night before. The entire team had stayed up with him all night, not to make any excuses for the Jayhawks or to take anything away from the Longhorns. Uh, but I think if you, if the situation was different, the outcome of that of that game would have been a little different. Uh, I think Kansas is probably the most balanced team in the nation. Uh, Ohio State is currently number one, and they deserve that number one ranking. Uh, but I think just for pure balance and pure quality of team. Uh, Kansas, I think, is the best team in the nation. Yeah. Well, before we go, um, I, just, I couldn't help but notice, is that this your Kansas shirt say late night with Roy Williams? 
It does say late night with Roy Williams. You know, <laughs> regardless of what's happened over the last 10 years, there's always that Kansas-North Carolina connection. You know, Dean Smith was born in Emporia, Kansas. He played at Kansas before he went on to North Carolina. Uh, you know, Roy's a North Carolina boy from up in the Asheville area uh, who went to college at North Carolina, bounced around a little bit. Well, actually, he stayed at North Carolina for quite a while as an assistant under Dean and then got his chance to, to coach out of Kansas. And he just went back home to North Carolina. And I know a lot of Kansas fans are still upset about that. You know, the bottom line, I think Kansas may have come out the better end of that deal. You know, Bill Self is an incredible coach. Um, I hate to say it, I honestly think he might be a better coach than, than Roy and maybe the best coach in the nation. So uh, that connection's always going to be there. Kansas fans need to get over Roy leaving. They got a great coach in Bill Self. Uh, Roy never won a championship in Kansas, but Bill has, and, and he may win another one this year. Yeah. Okay, well, that's it for us today. But we hope you guys enjoy the game Monday night, and we will be continuing Rivalry Week through next week. So, from all of us here at RivalryRage.com, I'm Dr. Smack, and this is Tim, and we're out. <laughs>